Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of some advanced topics on doing some of our data manipulation. Uh, so we're going to continue with our CARS data set and we're going to use MPG. All right, so now before we had gone and actually uploaded this whole Excel file in, uh, we could do that again, but there's also another way that I want to show you how you can go about uh, uh, importing data into our commander. So I've already got our commander open and so what we can do is I'm just going to highlight the data so I can either drag it all the way down or if you don't want to do that you can just click on MPG and then do either control shift down or command shift down depending on if you have a Mac or if you have a PC okay so it highlights all the data regardless we just want to highlight it all down and we are just going to copy okay so then what we can do is we can go into data in our commander we can go to import and now we're going to instead go down to from excel file we're going to say from text file clipboard or url uh, whenever we go ahead and we uh, copy data it copies it to this like invisible clipboard and so we're going to say that this location of data file is from the clipboard uh, we're just going to leave the name as data set uh, when we copy it into a clipboard things are separated by tabs so we're just going to click tabs and then we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And when we do that, it runs our little code. And if we did it right, we should get this little bit of line that says, yeah, the data set has 41 rows and one column. So I could go and look at my data set. Um, oh, sorry, view data set. And here it is. So this is our data set. It's got our MPGs and we could go all the way down. So anyways, that's a nice handy way that you can uh, import your data without having to um, to like load the whole Excel file in. This also will work for when you're working in MyOpenMath. Uh, you can just copy the data straight from MyOpenMath and paste it directly into our commander, uh, which makes it way better than like trying to type everything out. Okay, so that was one thing that I wanted to do. And then what I want to also do is go to graphs. So let's go to histogram. Uh, we'll do this histogram. We could do some uh, some labels and things, but let's just leave it simple right now. I'm just going to click OK. And here is our graph. All right, so we've got our miles per gallon and then how many times we saw this specific mile per gallon. Okay, now let's say that we didn't want it in these bin sizes uh, and we wanted it to start at a different point or we, we just want it to be different than what this is. Well, if we go back and we look at our histogram and we say options, we can change like the number of bins, uh, but there's actually a better way of doing it than just doing it right here. So let me kind of type it out real quick for you. So let's come down here. Not that we're going to be doing this in Excel, but it's going to let me just type it out a little bit easier. So what we're going to be using is this um, function in our commander that's called sequence. And so we can do sequence and we can do a parentheses and then we can put in a couple of numbers. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to type in something like five comma 45 comma and then 10. Okay. So let me let you know what each of those are. So if we do, if we do sequence, it's going to go from and then to and then by. Okay, so if we talk our bins in this way, so when we write this sequence, it would be from number five or five miles per gallon to 45 miles per gallon by um, bin sizes of 10. So let's, let's go ahead and copy this. I'm just going to copy that text and I'm going to bring it up here. So if we look into our histogram, so it says with our data set, we're doing a histogram of the MPGs. All right, at breaks, instead of doing Sturges, which is some default that our commander has, we're going to delete that out, and we're going to paste in our sequence. All right, so we've got sequence, parenthesis, from, to, and by, and then we can just highlight this code again, and we can click Submit. And look how it changed. So now I've got these like really big groups instead of a whole bunch of little ones. Now let's say if I want to do from 5 to 45, and instead of doing steps of 10, let's say I want to take steps of 2. So that's a really small step now. So let's go ahead and click Submit on this one. 
And now we've got steps of two where we've got, you know, all sorts of just itty bitty steps and we're trying to see those individuals. Now let's see if we want to look at individual miles per gallon. We could go all the way down to one. And now I can click submit. Oops, sorry. We've got to highlight our code and then click submit. And now I've got for individuals. So sometimes we can get, we can make our, um, our bins too small and sometimes we can make them too big. So, I mean, let's say if I'm, I made my bin size instead 30. So that's a really big bin size. I'm going to click submit. Oops, sorry. I got to highlight the data. Oh, sorry. The, I've got my range too big. Let's do instead 15. And I'll click submit. Oh, it's still too big. Sorry. We'll go back down to 10. There we go. So we can either have it too big and sometimes we can have it too small and th there's no like correct answer on how big the bin sizes are, are but sometimes we need to be able to know how to manipulate it and this is one way that we can do it. Now let's say I wanted to go all the way down from 0 to 45 in steps of 10. Let's, let's try that one. And now we've got another little way that we can do our steps um, and break up our data slightly differently. Anyhow, so there's lots of ways that we can break down our data. Um, this little sequence is very useful. Remember it stands. We go sequence from a value to a value and then by some step size. So I hope that helps you out and good luck.